Hello and welcome to this introduction in how to use trigonometric functions and identities to find basically unknown angles. And here we have sine, cos, and tan, and their inverses. Now, say you have sine of x equals theta, sine of Line of x equals not theta, sorry. Let's just say y. Now to find x, you'll just do sine inverse y. And once you have x, there's more than one answer. For sine, you have 180 minus the answer equals x2. And then you have your original answer plus minus multiples of 360 if needed, not just the one 360. And then your second answer, plus minus multiples of 360. Cos, once you find x, plus minus, right, by plus minus the answer, by plus minus of the answer, if it's positive, then that same answer, multiplied by minus 1, will be also a solution. If it's negative, then multiply it by minus 1 again, it will be positive, and then that will also be a solution. Then the original answer plus minus multiples of 360. Second answer plus minus multiples of 360. And then the tan is just once you find x, it's just simply adding, uh, adding or subtracting multiples of 360. Now, I'm going to give you some examples. And I'm just going to put This is the range which my answers will be in. And this is basically the, when I do these, it's like these could actually go on forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. So there's a range. X bigger than zero but less but less than 360. Simple. I'll show you how that comes into play. For instance, we could have tan tan theta equals four. But to keep the same notation, <laughs> I'll put tan x. Now, tan inverse that using a calculator. Hopefully, you're in degrees, not radians. And then that is x equals 75. Point, say. 79. Point 76 degrees you'll get 79.75.96 round that up you'll get 76 degrees now that's not your only answer in the range of 0 to 3 0 to 360 the same. 76 is 76 minus 180 an answer? No. That's less than zero. It's negative. Is 76 could, could x also equal 76 plus 180? Well, the answer is yes, it could because 76 plus 180 x would equal x2, 2, 5, 6. No real need for the 2 just to show their different answers but belong to the same equation. Um, so that, but there may be more answers. So let's see 256. Oh, plus 180. Well, even if you just add a hundred to that, you'll see it's four off the limit. The extra eighty takes it over three hundred and sixty. Now, this means you only have two answers in that region. And that's completely fine. You'll just say tan x equals four. The answers or well, x equals seventy six. And sometimes on exam papers. 
to stop you using your calculator as much they'll see if you know these and they'll just they'll look for they'll give you a mark for sort of doing x equals 76 plus 180 but it's just getting into good habits and then you'll say that equals 256 so it's just getting into good habits knowing these rules rather than relying on the calculator now let's let's say cos x cos x is equal to 0 0.8 Inverse of cos inverse of 0 0.8. Alright, x is equal to three significant figures 36.9 degrees. Now I'm using the rules for this plus minus the answer, so x is also equal to minus 36.9 degrees, but that's not in the region not what we're looking for but we can still use it so, well, that may not be right we can still do it's still a valid answer it's just not the one we need so if we plus 360 to that then you get 323 Point one three can't read X also equals three hundred and twenty three point one three. Now adding three hundred and sixty to that will take it out of the region of zero to three hundred and sixty. So these are only two answers. X equals thirty six point nine and X equals thirty thirty two point one three. And you can check these as well by just doing cos 36.9 and then doing cos 323.13. They won't be exactly right because we've approximated, but they will be very similar. So then you know you've got the right values of x. And finally, sine. Let's say sine theta. equal to minus 0.844 now well, I've, used, oh, I've used theta so I'll carry on using theta All right, minus 57 theta equals minus 57.1 now your only answer is a minus, but although we can't use this itself, although we can't use this as an answer itself, we use it to get other answers. So let's see, 180 minus answer. So let's do 180 minus minus 57.1. Common misconception is that if it's a minus, they'll just subtract it from 180 anyway, but the rules, the normal rules of math still apply, so it's minus minus 57.1. That gets you to 237, well, x equals 237.1. Um, you're not done there though. You've got to check for other answers within the range. And we can use this negative answer again by using this plus minus 360 rule. Minus 57.1 plus 360, you get 302.9. Let's say. Let's say x equals minus 57.1 plus 360. To the examiner, we know the rule. And x equals 
There's also a valid answer. So for this one we've got two, but none of the answers that so they weren't any of the answers that we started with. We sort of had to find them ourselves, and that happens a lot. And well, a more likely question that you'll get is where you'll have to rearrange a equation using trig identities and then solve it. For instance, 2 sin theta equals tan theta. And let's say, let's change the limit to 180 degrees, less than or equal to x, is less than or equal to 180 degrees. Now, don't be put off by the 2, just think of it as 2 times, well, bracket sin theta equals tan theta then you have divide both sides by tan theta you'll have 2 sin theta over tan theta equal to 1 and then you'll have 2 cos theta using sin theta over tan theta equals cos theta it's 1 no. 2 cos theta. You've got twice cos theta. You want once cos theta, so cos theta ends up being equal to a half. Now, if you'd seen my other video on trigonometric ratios, you know that theta therefore equals 60. theta equals 60 and that's in the range plus minus the answer so it's positive so we'll times it by minus 1 theta also equals minus 60 now subtract 360 from that we get minus 300 now it's not in the range add 360 to that we get 300 now it's not in the range these are our only two answers the so 2 sin two theta equals tan theta can be rearranged to give cos theta equals a half and in this region here you get theta equal to 60 and minus 60 and let me just show that this bottom question here this bottom question here is one you're a lot more likely to get in an exam a lot more likely to get 